Hi everyone, this is Andrew Klein in Emerge Pediatric Therapy. Uh, I'm here today to chat with you about uh, dry erase board games that support with visual spatial processing and development. Um, I love this topic and I love dry erase boards. Dry erase boards are a great tool and the wonderful thing about dry erase boards is you can pretty much take them anywhere. They take up very little space. Uh, these really came in handy for me when I used to be traveling around New York City with a small backpack full of treatment supplies, and I never went anywhere without a dry erase board. They're also great for telehealth therapy. You can use them just about anytime, anywhere, and most families will have one accessible. And of course, you can use them in a clinic or a school. Um, another thing I like about dry erase boards is they're fun. They're really easy to make fun, and fun is, I think, the key to good learning. So um, I'm going to do a few of my favorite dry erase board games today. Uh, you're more than welcome to join in from home or wherever you're watching. Um, so the first one we're going to do is a drawing game. So the game is simple. I'm going to draw a picture on my dry erase board, but I'm not going to tell you what I'm drawing. I am going to tell you step by step how to draw it. And you're going to try to create the same picture, and we're going to see if you can figure out what it is. So the first thing I want you to do is draw a circle at the bottom of your dry erase board. It's got to be a pretty big circle. Sitting on top of that circle, I want you to draw another circle that's a little bit smaller. And sitting on top of that one, I want you to draw another circle that's a little bit smaller than that one. And then inside the top circle, I want you to draw two dots, two, 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 dots, two dots side to side uh, towards the top. Underneath those, I want you to draw a little curve with the ends sticking up. You might know what we're drawing at this point, or not. On the middle circle, on the inside of that circle, I want you to draw three dots going top, down. And then sticking out from that middle circle, I want two lines, one coming from each side. So, what do you think we drew? Take a look at mine and see if it's the same. It was a snowman. <laughs> Ta-da! So, great way to think about that visual spatial development, right? Thinking about directional stuff, big picture thinking, putting images uh, that go with our words. Um, another game I love is another drawing game, and this one's a bit sillier. Uh, for this one, I would like you to draw a picture of two animals, but these two animals have to be combined into one animal. So it's going to be a pretty silly looking critter. So I've already got one done for you. I want you to take a look. What are the two animals you think you see here? If you guessed narwhal and alligator, you were correct. Now the fun part of this is you can have the person write the name of their animal and you can come up with a silly combination name. Now technically any name is is okay, but really there's only one right answer for this one. It's a narwhaligator. You're not going to come up with anything better than a narwhaligator. It's narwhaligator. So those are two of my favorites. You can also go with more traditional games on dry erase boards. You could do um, hangman, you could do a word scramble where you take the letters of a word and you rearrange them. So you can grade this one up and down pretty easily. So this is a simple one. You can give a category, the category is animals. If you need, you can draw a picture of the animal to go help the child out if it's hard. I'm not the best artist, but you don't need to be. Um, so you may have figured out that these are the letters of the word snake rearranged. So that's another one of my favorites. Really, there are a world of possibility with dry erase boards. Um, you could start really simple for kids that are just starting to work on their letters, and you could do a magical transforming letter or a number game. So you can start off with letter S, and you could say, I want you to turn this S into an eight. What's the easiest way to do that? Well, you could draw a little path connecting them right there. Or turn this P into an R, right? And you can have the child give you a challenge too. Sometimes it's easier with some letters than others. But it's a really fun way to work on the visual spatial components of letter formation. Um, there are so many amazing things you could do with dry erase boards. You could do draw a picture and write a story with it. You can continue with other games. There are classic games like um, as simple as tic-tac-toe, or you could do those dots where you connect the dots to make a square. 
If you all don't know that game, that's okay, but it's a fun classic with paper or dry erase boards as well. Um, there are a world of possibilities. I encourage you to explore. Feel free to share, share your own ideas for games with visual spatial processing that you can do with dry erase boards in the chat if you so desire. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video and uh, wishing you all a great rest of your day. Thanks and uh, farewell.